So I just finished up some training at Kabuki, getting back into the swing of things. I just wanted to kind of give a general overview, a uh, recap of the meet that I had. Um, as you guys probably have seen on Instagram, I uh, didn't go so well. Um, and I don't really want to talk about like necessarily why it didn't go so well and make excuses. Uh, I just didn't, wasn't strong enough that day. Um, you know, things happen throughout every training cycle that will create some type of adversity that you're just going to have to overcome and be ready on meet day to go. And I just wasn't ready. So just to give a little bit of an overview, um, training went really well, hit some big PRs. So it was definitely one of the more productive uh, training plans that I've had but it was also you know one step forward one step back with you know injuries and uh, things like that nothing serious that took me out of training completely but serious enough to kind of hamper the plan a little bit but the week of the meet everything felt good as far as my body goes I was dropping weight pretty fast due to some digestion issues that I had going on and I just got invited to the US Open. So I was like, yeah, you know what? Let me try to do a big weight cut just in case I want to do the US Open and cut to 220 and just see how it goes. Let me try things out and do it, you know, as scientifically perfect as possible and hope for the best. You know, once you start adding in variables to any anything that you're trying to do the chances of you not hitting your potential gets higher and higher and I think that's just kind of what happened I introduced too many variables into the program and I just didn't perform well uh, opened up with a 705 squat super shaky noticed my left knee was buckling in never really does that went to 733 for a small PR uh, total or small meat PR which it would have been a huge uh, 220 PR for me to 733 missed it twice uh, same thing left knee just caving in wasn't able to stay upright and push through um, just something I'm gonna have to look into fixing and working on I would have to kind of assume that the weight cut had to do with the the give and not having that pop out of the hole that I usually have but you know I've also seen people cut weight and do well so it's just a sign that there's weaknesses there that aren't ready to to do the weight cut so I just got to work on that and fix that and then uh, bench press uh, once once squats didn't go well I knew like I didn't have I didn't have it in me that day to hit a 2,000 pound total that I wanted to so I was just trying to take what I could learn from the experience and try to finish out the day six for six uh, bench drop my opener 450 ish and then went to 470 uh, something and then ended up with a 485 third attempt and that's about all I had that day which was a 20 pound meat PR for the 220 weight class then uh, warming up for deadlifts everything felt really good felt really smooth I dropped my openers on every lift except for deadlift which now looking back on it was stupid because went 683 pulled it ripped my hand right open and that was the day couldn't stop the bleeding couldn't quit um, getting things going so I had to call it there and uh, kind of what I noticed was as the as we were working on my hand it probably swelled up twice its normal size due to the uh, due to the weight cut and the refeed so wasn't able to hold on to the bar uh, didn't even have knuckles or veins in my hands, so definitely uh, next meat prep I'm gonna take out the variables that I added in and hopefully perform better and uh, just move on from there getting ready for Gracie's meet next there's uh, three of us at Kabuki training for it so it should be a good fun meet I'll be doing 242s and uh, trying to put up the best total I can that day so thanks for watching guys until next time take care Let's go, babe. Let's go. Come on, now. Come on. Four.
Let's go! Come on! Let's go!